Welcome to another video about JG Menu. So we've added a icon up here, which provides now a menu in open box. It look, looks a bit ugly. Well, transparency is okay, shadows okay, but we need to figure out how to change the icon size, I think. And also, of course, the font is almost unreadable. So um, we've done another tutorial. We've done this uh, tin 2 change. So we went to preferences, then to GUI, and this icon up here, that's the menu we've added it with uh, applications. Let's quickly have a look, it's almost open. So in we have added the launcher and we've added a menu, a application, which is called JG menu. So that's that, that's previous video. Now, if you want to learn more about JG menu, and then we normally should type this one minus h this gives us some information and also this will probably work in any application and of course don't forget this one all right so a uh, lot of information here let's see if i can find what i was looking for because i had to go to the internet to find out again what it was and i guess it's uh, not Included unless I'm going too fast. I'm a fast reader. I don't see it. So. No, I don't think I see it. So there's a command that's quite important. And which command is it? The one that I looked on the website. So Johan Malm has created this one. And there is a wiki. And in the wiki it says this thing, that's important. Create a JG menu configuration file, config J menu, G menu RC with the command. This command is unfortunately not in his uh, help there. So we're gonna go to a terminal and we're gonna say, whoops, and we're gonna say JG menu and then without dashes, just in it. Before I do that, let's open something up here. So we have no J in sync Kingsoft. And we click on it and then we get the JG menu with a RC and a backup file. Okay. So what is it that we get? Let's open it up. This is Atom running. <laughs> That's why it's taking a little bit longer. Oh, did I not double click it? No, I did not double click it. It's my mistake. So I'm gonna close all files. Close without saving. And then I'm gonna open it again. So we only have this one. So these are all options that we can change. Um, all the hashtags should go if you want them to work. And what am I going to change? We can change the menu margin. Actually, that's good. So from the X and the Y, you can change the X and the Y so that it's really aligned properly, but it's okay, right? So that's, um, where did I see that? That's here, margins, X and Y. How the width, the width of the panel, yeah, could make it to 20, just for the sake of the exercise. A Little bit more, get rid of the hashtag, save it again will be a little bit more let's exaggerate so you see something is happening to the configuration all right got it so it's actually working that's what we wanted to know <laughs> is the configuration actually kicking in heights item stuff setup heights we can set fonts okay icon size i want to change the icon size I think 28 would be better. That's 28. Now these things start to touch and that's probably because of the space between the elements. Item height should be, well, 30 maybe. So it doesn't touch anymore. So it's a bit of uh, learning you have to do. I say, okay, 
So 30, what about 32? And then this one to 30, save. And then you get something like this. But of course, in this menu, you won't see all the elements. We have to, oh, we can scroll, well, it's okay. We can scroll, you do see elements, but they're down there, hidden. We can change icon themes even, icon theme fallback, arrow string, color menu background. That's something we need to find out. Color normal background. Let's just take these guys. See what it is. Aha. Uh -huh. We already found our way to make it visible again. So that's okay. I wonder if we can set a font size somewhere. So, control find font. Okay. Dot fonts. That's going to be a little bit tricky. I don't know what he is going to expect there. A good question. What is he going to expect there? We could go to the GitHub and look for it there. Is he taking our font from the theme? That's the theme size from the font, from our settings from our uh, system. Looks a bit small. And then background, menu background. Let's see what happens if we do this. Can be fun. Yeah. Everything black, why not? Well, I like my transparency a little bit, but this is everything black. And it's 85 transparency probably. So let's take the other way around, 25. Yeah, no. <laughs> 50. Yeah, that's better. So the one thing that bothers me is the font that's a bit too small, but maybe for you that's okay. I use, I have reading glasses, so I need to have it a little bit bigger. But basically this is how you do it. So you figure out every of these little items, settings. If you are loving this JG menu, then you can use it. It's, uh, it's there. It's even in the Arch repos, it's not in the AUR. So it's just uh, present for you to install and to figure out and to see what settings you like and what settings you don't like. Enjoy figuring and theming your system, figuring out this JG menu. Cheers.